So let me get this straight. You go two degrees. Yes, that's correct. One in medical science and one, one in, in Pacific Psychiatry. I know what. You think I can read? Bloody hell, you're the nutter here, mate. What? Let me ask you one simple question. What gives you the right to walk in here, analyze me and my marriage? Excuse me, Mr. Woman. You know, I am sick and tired of all you educated higher-ups thinking you're all high and mighty. Mr. Wormwood. I'm done with you and your lot bossing the rest of us Mr. around. Mr. Wormwood. No, that's it. I can't stand the sight of you no more. Get the hell out of my bloody office. Mr. Wormwood, this is my office. Oh. Let me remind you, sir, that you contacted me. You're the one who wanted to resolve your marital disputes, remember? Also, I think I'm being pretty generous here. Do you recall that initially I refused to see you due to your flagrant temper and liberal use of obscenities? Not to mention that you tried to bargain my price down to a measly 25 pounds. I have never in all my years experienced so much vulgarity spew from a single client, Mr. Wormwood. You should be exceedingly grateful that you're even here. Uh, all right, well, um, carry on. Thank you. Now, as I seem to understand, your marital issues are stemming from... What did what did you call her again, Mrs. Wormwood? <clears throat> Mrs. Wormwood. Take the girl first! Sorry, I must have dozed off there. What, what were you saying? What did you call your daughter? Who, Matilda? Probably little bugger or something. I, I wrote it down here. Let's see. Um, all right, here we go. A spoiled little brat and not the sausage kind. Nope. Uh, a diseased little weasel without the appeal? Not ringing any bells. <sighs> How about a demon child whose sole purpose of existence was to suck every bit of joy from your beautiful, perfect life? That's it. You have such a way with words, darling. So I take it you agree, Mr. Wormwood? Oh, wholeheartedly. Perfect description of... What's your name? Matilda. Right, right. That little Brunhilde's made the last five years a living nightmare. Do you know what she said to me the other day? What's that? She said, Mummy, I don't want to eat my broccoli. And so I said, why is that? And she said, you left it in the steamer too long. It's a different color. And so I said, well, tough crumpets. And she muttered something about it being infested with Germans. But I wasn't really listening at that point. It makes my bloody blood boil. You know, I had half a mind to lay her out right there. But I didn't want to upset the Mises. <sighs> Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, it's becoming increasingly clear to me that you two are both incredibly inept at parenting. What? He said we're incredibly adept at parenting. Well, that's fantastic. Am I blushing? <laughs> I actually wanted you to meet another couple. Oh, I love new people. Who are they? Well, this couple has one of the healthiest marriages I've ever encountered, and they happen to have their yearly checkup right after you, so I asked them to come in a little bit early. Do you happen to know Jennifer Littleton and her husband Jeffrey? Jennifer? Bloody Littleton? Yes, her. Do you happen to know her? I hear she's quite the distinguished dancer. You know what? I'll just let them in right now, and then you can meet each other then. I thought I'd have uh, Jennifer and Jeffrey talk about their marriage. Does that work? Of course. Well, let's begin I met then. Jeffrey five years ago. Where was it, love? The competition, right? Right, when I won the golden shoe. I forget. Didn't you compete that year? I was unable to compete. Oh, right, because you were... What was it? Oh, right. You were fat. I was pregnant. Yes, fat with child. Speaking of the competition, did you know I have a new partner? I really don't care, Jennifer. Rodolfo. Excuse me? Rodolfo. He's Italian. I like to think of him as my secret weapon. Incredible upper body strength. He's got, he's just so supple. Well, look at the time. That's our session. Thank you for coming in. 
We were just starting to reminisce. Come on, Doc, let me tear her eyes out. What? No! Only a little, please. I'm sorry, your, your time is up. You have to leave now. Oh, and Mr. Wormwood. Yeah? Do me a favor and never come here again. Right. Terribly sorry about that. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Littleton, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Why don't you tell me, Mr. Psychopolologist? Oh, no.